everyone. I'm going to tell you a story. When I was four years old, there was something I really, really wanted. But to get this thing, I was told I could have it, but I had to do something first. I had to learn how to write my full name, first name and last name. It had to be very neat and a little line about this big. Now, that's really hard for someone who's not even in school yet. But I was a very determined four-year-old, and I was going to get it done. So I worked hard, and there were some tricky letters in my last name, but I did it. And so what I got from my trouble was my very own library card, which is the topic of my uh, passion talk today, going to the library. Here is my library card now. Uh, so what you should know about me is I'm a very curious person. I like to learn about all kinds of different topics. And when I go to the library, I can just go in and go anywhere in the library and find something that's interesting to me. So I'll just walk up to the shelf and go, hey, what's that? Oh, I want to learn about that. And, and I just, I love it so much. So oh, I told you about when I was four. When I was in elementary school, there was a summer reading program, and I would always do the summer reading program. There was a chart behind the librarian's desk, and so I would go and get little stars on my, on my name, you know, and one time I checked out 19 books. When I was in middle school, I started walking to the library on my own. That was a huge adventure for me. It was a kind of freedom. It was six blocks to the library, but I could go just after school. I'd go, and I would go get books, and it was so great for me. I loved it. And then I remember the day, in sixth grade, when I took the plunge and I left the kids section and walked across the library to the other side, to the adult section. I was a little worried that someone would see me and send me back, because I was really short. And, but there were so many more books over there, and that's what I wanted more than anything. Nowadays, I still go to the library, but I admit, I do use the internet to look things up if I just want to know one little quick thing. But if I want to be in depth, I'm going to go to the library and get a big stack of books. That's what I'm talking about. So uh, I really, um, I love the smell of the library too. <laughs> you know how it smells in the library? That dusty old book smell? Love it. You can't get it anywhere else. And I thought it was really funny that we had music this morning from Beauty and the Beast. Because you know in that the animated or in, in the live action now they have the Beauty and the Beast, when the Beast takes Belle into the library, the big castle library with like it goes up, up, up. Yeah, and he says, it's yours. That's my dream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave you uh, with a riddle today. Uh, what building is the tallest? The library, because it has the most stories. Mm.